let's say you, you're da down on the uh, upper Chesapeake, you're up in one of the rivers, big laydowns, dock out on the corner or something like that, one of, those, one, of those, one of those places that you go by and you say, it's gotta be one laying right there. Got to be one there, all right? I mean, we've all seen it. You know, it's just one of those just perfect laydowns. Tide's right, okay? Don't roll up there and make two or three casts and go on, all right? Take the time to go to start on this side of the laydown, go all the way around it, okay? Just try that. And I bet you, you'll catch, if you'll, if you'll make 10, 12 casts all the way around the laydown, all the way around the stump, a dock, try, try and picture in your mind, okay, I missed a largemouth. Where am I going to be laying underneath this dock? And try and put that bait where it'll come right between his eyes. Okay? That will help you get more bites. Hit me. One of the things, uh, one of the big things that, I, I mean, it, I think throwing a square bill with the correct equipment is extremely important, okay? I've always used a, um, a fiberglass composite rod or an all fiberglass rod because I think that, and this is not one, um, I think that that really soft action of the rod helps you tremendously, okay? Two reasons. Most fiberglass rods or even fiberglass composite rods are not inherently sensitive, okay? They kind of got a dull, kind of a dull feel to them. And when you're throwing a crankbait, I think that's a good thing, okay? You know, when you're fishing a jig, you want to feel every little rock on the bottom, okay? You want to know everything that's going on. When you're throwing a crankbait, you want to be able to feel the bottom or you want to be able to feel that tree, that lay down or whatever, but you don't want to feel every little tick that's going on because when that fish comes up behind that bait or when he comes at it from the side, I'm sure a lot of you guys have felt this before. You're winding your bait along there and all of a sudden your bait just goes slack. It's like slack line and then it comes back again. Okay? Or you feel, and you feel the fish, it's almost like the fish ran by your bait and made it stop swimming right and then it took off again. All right? That's where fiberglass rod or a, a composite rod really shines because you don't, as you're winding that bait along, you don't feel that quite as well. And of course, what's your first, first tendency when you feel a bite? That's right. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jack him. I mean, I am gonna set the hook, all right? With a glass rod, you don't get that sensitivity. You don't, you don't get quite as much of that feel. It gives you a little bit more time for that fish to actually get hold of the, the whole bait so that you get him hooked, okay? One of the biggest things that helped me with crankbait fishing was fluorocarbon line, okay? You know, before fluorocarbon, of course, everybody threw monofilament, and monofilament with a glass or glass composite rod has its place, all right? But if you, if you couple a composite rod with fluorocarbon, you get the slow reaction time that that rod's gonna give you, but you gain a little bit of sensitivity with that fluorocarbon because it's a lot denser. You can actually feel what the bait is doing because of your line, okay? And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.